Good morning, welcome to Four Acres. Project of the day is for us to build a swinging chair. Uh, I want like a swinging bench that hangs under the deck. Let me show you where. Plan is to hang it from some of the rafters here and we'll swing between the posts there. I think it'll be nice because if we are here and we're swinging, that's our view, and that's what I'm going for. If you've been around Four Acres for a little while, you know that I reorganized my garage recently. I built some great shelving, and I organized, I don't actually think I did this on camera, but I organized all of my lumber, and I have it stacked between the studs here. These chickens are gonna drive me insane. I let them out early, and they've done nothing but cause trouble all day long. The best part of organizing all this lumber is that I can actually see what I have to work with. This bit of wood right here, is an old bed frame that Heather and I made like back when we first started dating and she bought herself a queen size bed. So the width of that is queen size bed width, which I imagine would fit two people nicely and be good as a swing width. I think I have enough here to be able to build the swing I want. Plus I have two more two by sixes. I'm gonna have to sand cause I, there's this stain here. I don't think I want. So I think I need to try to sand this stain off. And then on the back side, there's wood that's stuck here from the glue that used to be here to hold it all together when it was a bed frame. So I gotta sand down all of this stuff. Uh, how many sanding montages can I do on this channel before I go totally crazy? I think we need to do one more. Oh, uh, before I do that, I do have, and I don't even know what I have these from. They're Ikea, I think they are. They're Ecor from Ikea. So I've got these two hooks, not hooks, you, whatever you call these, anchors. I have these two anchor points that I think are gonna be perfect for mounting to the studs under the deck to hold all of this together. So I have the pieces, now I need to put it together. Are you ready to start? I know I am. I hope that this turns out the way it does in my head. I think it's going to. Let's go. about three and a half hours since I started sanding. Sanding always takes longer than I expect. And as I was sanding, slowly thinking about it, I realized I need to change my mindset on sanding. So uh, sanding is not the worst thing in the world. I still hold that snow blowing is the worst thing in the world. There's no reason for both of us to suffer. I'll check in with you when I'm done. I've got all the lumber I need, and I think I have enough sanded so that I don't need any more. This should be enough. All of this is from the bed frame that Heather and I built. And then I have two pieces of wood that I actually pulled out of a dumpster at a construction site. The bed frame is gonna turn into the seat and the back of the bench that we're building. And then those two dumpster pieces, I'm gonna rip one of them, um, down the middle and then cut them into some pieces that will turn into the frame. And the other one will cut up and use that as the armrest for the bench. That is where we're at. It's time to switch from sanding to cutting. Let's do it. putting it together. Everything's cut. I haven't bought any new wood glue and that's interior wood glue, which means it's not waterproof. However, when I moved into this house, this was hanging in the garage. Loctite, all weather, waterproof, premium construction adhesive. This is old. It looks old, but it's never been opened. And then I need some screws. I'm almost out of deck screws. Okay, I'm digging through containers of screws. I found enough with a star head to be able to put the sides together. And then I'm finding a bunch of square head deck screws 
that should work to put the uh, seat and back on. I forgot to pre-drill into this piece and this piece cracked. I think we'll be okay because the amount of glue we have should hold it all together. I'm gonna try to put some of this construction adhesive into here. I should probably get gloves to do that though because this stuff looks nasty. I got the bench outside. We have some more sunlight still, not a ton. It's, oh, I don't know, four o'clock now. Project number three with Australian timber oil. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna hang it. A lot of people use chains. I don't have any chain. Chain is expensive and uh, this is so far a completely free project uh, using all things I already had at the house. So I'd like to keep it that way if I can. I do have some rope, so I may go that route. Uh, we'll see what we get. My iPhone is filling up and I put two coats of stain, not stain, oil, Australian timber oil on our swinging bench. And now I need to let it dry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this back up until tomorrow. For me, it'll be many hours. For you, it'll be just one second. <laughs> expected it to. The hardest part for me was moving too fast. I really need to slow down when I'm working on these projects, take my time, sand edges, think about which way things are going together. I made mistakes because I was moving too fast. The flip side of that is that I only have so much time in the day and I have a lot of things I need to get done while the weather's warm. I basically have four months here in Vermont before it gets cold again. I've got June, July, August, September. Everyone's already starting to stack their firewood here in Vermont, so that's something I, that is on my mind of things to do. All in all though, I am super happy with it. Um, it is definitely a good place to go to sit and have a cup of coffee in the morning. Heather suggested I cut cup holders out in the armrest, which isn't a bad idea. I may try that at some point in the future. And I think this looks awesome. Uh, ignore all the tools and stuff in the back right now, but look at it, oh, it's so good. I'm super happy with it. I wanna thank all of you for hanging out with me here at Four Acres in Southern Vermont. I appreciate each and every one of you. Always do the best you can with what you've got, and I'll see you around. Take care. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. <laughs> it's not a worm. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Let's do it. Get off! Bunker, that's not okay. Go get a drink. <laughs>